my precious you are so beautiful, my daughter, with the fetishes I gave you. You were going to turn heads. Me, I am tired. I can't go on any longer. So we decided to leave you the family fetishes. With him, you will only meet rich men. So you can take care of the whole family. Do not forget about this condition. This money is for the family. You will have your part in this, of course. And if you stick to the contract, you'll live a good life like me. Your mother, look at me how bright I am, how beautiful I am, how I take care of the family. Life is good. Now it's your turn. It is understood. Yes, mom, you are the most beautiful mom and I want to be like you. All right. I suggest that you go and test the fetishes and see for yourself. Okay, mom. Wow, what a beautiful woman, mademoiselle. No, I don't have time for small fish. I must not disappoint my mom. Little fish, I don't get it. Wow, what a beauty. Wow. Few days later. Are you ready, girl? Let's go celebrate your new status. Yes, I am ready, mom. My darling will wait for me in the car, I'm coming. Okay, mom, I'll wait for you in the car. What is going on? Aren't you supposed to show up like that in the middle of the day? What if my daughter saw you? So what? When are you going to tell her I'm tired of staying in your body? I need a younger body. I've been in your body for 20 years. You have to talk to her quickly to make the exchange. Okay, okay calm yourself. She already has the fetish. We're going to do the transfer soon, but I need to get it ready first. Then hurry up. You are beautiful my girl, you are the most beautiful. Thanks mom. So how are things going with your new mom status? It's great, all the men are looking at me. It's really great. It is good. It is only the beginning. You will see. Now you are spoiled for choice. Look how everyone looks at you in this restaurant. Wow, what beauty. Please can you have a bottle of champagne carried to the table over there to that woman? Well sir. Hello madam. The gentleman over there offers you a bottle of champagne. Oh, which a gentleman. Darling, I can't wait to marry you so we can live together. I can't wait too. You told me you are a Christian, right? Yes, I know Jesus Christ. Great and see you soon. See you soon. Sweetie. If you're done calling, I need to talk to you. I need to tell you the truth. What is going on, Mom? With the fart I gave you? There is another condition. What what conditions? There is something that lives in me. I have to maintain it every night. I have to do certain things, feed her, and do what she asks of me. It is under this condition that money will always flow. Men will spend lavishly on you. I accept my mom. Okay, well I'm going to get you ready to meet her. Were you talking to your girlfriend? Look, I am not comfortable with this idea of marriage. I think you don't know her well enough. It's too soon. Mom, you worry too much. Wow, my girl, you really hit the jackpot. Yes, Mom, I hit the jackpot. Yeah, we have the money and the good life. Darling, I am so proud of you. 
Don't forget what I said to you. Take good care of the creature and you will live well. Don't worry, Mom, everything is under control. I am holding my husband in my hand and he is not about to get out of there. Look how he married me. Quickly. In less than five months, he put the ring on my finger. Yes, you are my daughter. That's how it happened with your dad. And look at Emmy. I don't have to tell her right away what she's going to go through to keep the creature going. What are you saying, Mom? No, nothing, girl. But now that the fetishist is in possession, you have to be very careful to take care of the whole family. All of your husband's money should come into our family and there should be nothing left for his family. It's understood, you must not give anything to his family, otherwise you will suffer the consequences. Giving nothing to his family is not a problem. That's my daughter, my precious one. Hi darling. How do you find me today? Still beautiful, as usual. Thank you by the way, darling. I need money for my sick mother. Oh good. But what is happening to her? It's not a big deal, I hope. But she was here yesterday. She seemed to be fine. Oh, I told you mom, oh no it's my aunt. In fact, I need 500,000. Okay, no problem. Tell me daddy, I need money. Okay. How much? 500,000? Yes. Oh good. But what are you going to do with it? It's a lot of money. Thank you darling. By the way, I noticed that your sister is opening a restaurant. Did you give her the money? Yes, you've seen how well she's doing. I promised her that if she had a degree in marketing, I would fund this project. And it's done. In fact, we'll go say hello to her, if you want to. That's what annoys me about you. You're handing out money left and right and I don't even know about it. How could you give that much to your sister without telling me? And when I ask you something, you ask me a lot of questions. Excuse me. What are these unfair reflections? I give you everything you ask me. And with my sister, it's something that was planned long before we met. It doesn't interfere with your plans in any way and it has nothing to do with the money I can give you. So what is your problem? No, but who does he think he is? Giving as much money to his sister when he could have given it to me, it's up to me and my family to benefit from all that money now. If not, why did I marry him then? And what is this fetishist for? I'm going to see mom. Joachim. I'm going out. Well madam. Hurry up Joachim. I am in a hurry. Alright madam. Mom, I don't get it. He continues to spend on his family instead of all the money coming back to us. I know it's hard, but do you respect all the conditions as I explained to you? Yes, Mom, I respect everything. Besides, Mom, speaking of that, it's really hard what I have to do. You didn't tell me everything, but I'm suffering. How did you manage to last that long? It's the price my daughter we have pays for being rich and having men at her feet. How are you, Mom? Sorry, I was supposed to stop by yesterday, but I had a lot of work. It does not matter, my son. You are very busy and you are married. Now you need to build your family and take care of your numerous companies. Well, Mom, I'm going home. Yes, but first let us pray to my God, my King. I entrust my son Danny to you. Lord, thank God for the good you are doing me and my whole family. Thank you for your blessing in my life. Guide me and enlighten me that your blessing extends to all your children throughout the world. Are you done? Yes, I have finished praying. Why didn't you join me to pray? You did it when we were engaged. But since we got married, I've noticed that you don't want to pray with me anymore. Why? I have things to do, I don't have time. By the way, I need money for my cousin who has to travel again. Look, I want to please you because you are my wife, but now it's too much. What do you mean it's too much? 
I am your wife and you have to take care of me and my family. It is good what I am doing. Over the past few months, I have spent far more on you and your family than on my own family. What I would like is for you to start a business. That way, you can dispose of the money and spend it as you see fit. I'll give you the seed money. Think about a project that you would like to start and then we talk about it. How do you want me to work now? And you, what are you here for? Darling, I don't understand you. I do everything for you. Well, that's not enough. Oh, are you there? Why didn't we stay in the house and talk? Why did you bring me here? I can't appear in this house. It's too hot, I'm suffocating. If not... But why don't my powers work on my husband? Admittedly, it gives me a lot of money, but I don't have access to everything the way I want. He did not obey as I was promised. Did I marry the wrong person? Your husband prays a lot and behind him, his mother pushes him and she has a very good prayer life. It is difficult. You see me suffocate when I come to this house. Besides, you'll have to do something, you have to knock it down quickly, otherwise it's going to be difficult for me and I won't be able to sit there to help you mightily. I'm going to show you a technique that does exactly what I say. Then you will put it all in his food and you will see, he will eat in your hand. Do it tomorrow if it's not done. First thing tomorrow morning, the fart will be lost. You won't be able to use it again. Okay. Darling, I made you breakfast. Sit down and eat before you go to work. Oh, but that's new. That's nice of you, sweetie, but I'm very late. I have to go. Please eat a little. I'll eat later. I promise, now I have to go. I am tired you don't like anything I do. You don't even want to eat my food. It's not that. But now I have to leave. We'll talk again tonight. Promised. Nothing works, nothing works, nothing works. I'm going to see mom. It's nonsense. I can't get anywhere. Where is this driver? Always hanging out in the corners of the property instead of being at his desk. Joaquim take the limo. I'm going out. All right, madam. Hello, how are you doing? Tell me I need money. But anyway, what are you doing with all this money? When it's your family who asks you, you don't say anything, but when it's me, you ask me a lot of questions. Sorry, I spend my time helping your family, I give you money every week, I offered you to start a business. You refuse what is your problem? What is my family doing in this story? Have I ever refused you anything for you and your family? What exactly do you want? Why can't I access your payment cards? I need to have access to your payment cards. Precious. You have changed a lot? Really? I am still the same. I have not changed. Take a good look at me. My darling, be ready we are going to thank the Lord for this day. You don't have to pray every night, are you not tired? Pray to the Lord. It's like the air you breathe. We need it. Human beings must give thanks to the person who created them, the person who gives them the breath of life, the person who guarantees their existence. Not praying to the Lord is like navigating a battlefield, without armor, without protection. We need to pray, darling, for ourselves and for others. No, I am tired. You, pray if you want, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Eternal. My almighty God, I praise you, I praise you for this day that you allowed me to pass without problems. I rent you for my family, I rent you for my employees. I praise you for everything you allow me to do. No, no, no. I can't get out of my body with his prayer. I'm going to have to go out the door. Ouch, it hurts. Do you understand why I can't go into this house with you? Oh. Despite all the sacrifices I make every night, I suffer. Every day, I have to fulfill inhuman conditions when I am not tortured by you. 
It is the prayers of my husband and his family that torment me. What do I gain in this? For me, despite all the horrible conditions that I have to meet, it doesn't work. Nothing works. I tried everything. I did everything you said, but he always manages to get away from me. I can't control it. Why? This man has a strong prayer life. This story is no longer on my level. I need to refer him to the forces superior to me. I'll get back to you in a few days. But where were you so late at night? I looked all over the house for you after my prayer, but you were gone. Where were? I was in the house. You didn't search well? No, I looked in every room in the house. You weren't there. Look, you did the wrong thing. Leave me alone. I'm going to bed. I am tired. I'm going to get help and I'm coming back to destroy everything. Understand why I can't go into this house with you? This man has a strong prayer life. This story is no longer on my level. I need to refer them to forces superior to me. I'll get back to you in a few days. But where were you so late at night? I looked all over the house for you after my prayer, but you were gone. Where were you? I was in the house. You didn't search well? No. I looked in every room in the house. You weren't there. Look, you did the wrong thing. Leave me alone. I'm going to bed. I am tired. I'm going to get help and I'm coming back to destroy everything. Who are you? I am taking over to help you achieve your goals so that I can dominate this man. You are going to have to give your kids. But I don't have children yet. I am talking about your future children. Okay. Within a few days, you can do what you want with this man. Yes, Mom. The creature assured me that after the work it is going to do, my husband will eat on my hand. She gave me something else to use and incantations to recite when he sleeps. Everything is explained. Oh hello mom, are you there? How long have you been here? I just arrived a few seconds ago. Oh okay mom. Hello mom. How are you doing? Good morning. What do you want to drink, mom? Do you want something to eat? No thanks my daughter. I was just stopping by to greet you. Oh okay. So mom, how are you? You've been here a long time. It's okay, my son and your day. It went well and yours. Very well. Well my son, I'm going to leave you alone, I'm going to go home. But first of all, we're going to pray. Is your wife going to join us for prayer? No, mom, why am I going to tell you about it later? Let us pray. Lord, God, I bless you for your kindness. Lord. Jesus shouts, my God, protect my son. I can't stay in this house. I need to get out. I need to get out. My son, I'm going to go, but come see me tomorrow. We need to talk tonight before we go to sleep. Don't forget to pray again. My son goes in prayer. Intense prayers because your life is in danger. Don't let yourself be distracted. These days remain in prayer. Yes, okay, mom, but you're not telling me everything. What is going on? I overheard a conversation between your wife and her mother and I understood that she is trying to hurt you, to sacrifice you. How? Yes, my son. I am sorry that's why you have to be very careful. Okay, mom, don't worry. May the almighty Lord preserves you my son. Thank you mom and may he accompany you. P. Wretches, precious. But where's she? In fact, 
I am not even surprised at all. All these quirks, all these changes in his behavior. There are a lot of things. Oh my darling, mom is already gone. Yes. Where were you? I went for a walk outside. At this time of night. All right, enough about me. Go freshen up. I cooked your favorite food. No thanks. I've already eaten, I'm not hungry anymore. Oh good. But at what time? Don't you want to eat my food anymore? Look, it's getting late. I'm going to take a shower and then rest. Okay, no problem. Tell me, don't you have anything to say to me? No. Why? What is this question? You know that God is above all power, whatever it is. And it's written in Galat 6, verse 7. Make no mistake about it, we are not mocking God. What a man sows, he also reaps. So stop what you are going to do right away because we are not laughing at God. I don't understand anything you're talking about. Are you sure you're okay? What did your mom say? Lord, my eternal God, you are a God of armies. He's been praying for hours and I can't operate. Everything I am doing is failing. I have to go out, I have to go out. But what is going on? Nothing works on everything you said to me. Nothing works. Calm down. We came in Legion and we are going to fight him at the end of tonight. Your husband will be finished. Yes, there are so many of us that he will not be able to resist. Look how we are all here for this fight and that's what you can see. We are multitudes. You see we came in numbers. Tonight we are going to make your husband give in. My Lord Jesus Christ, come and fight for me, deliver me from my enemies. Donnie, what did you do? Look what's happening to me. I don't feel well. I'm taking you to the hospital. What is happening to me? Why me? How are you doing? It's not okay. I had a really bad night. I feel pain everywhere and my strength is giving up. I can feel it. Since you entered this hospital, I always tell you the same thing. Confess what you did. Confess. You will be free from all of this. If you don't, it may end badly. You must confess and ask forgiveness from our Lord, who is merciful. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven for a single sinner who repents than for 99 righteous people who do not need repentance. You know, it took me a long time to understand what was going on around me with you. Yet the Lord was putting the signs in front of me, but I chose to ignore them out of love. I am sad about what I have discovered, but I am a child of God and I have to fight for my life and for what is right. I don't blame you, it's not your fault because you didn't know that there is a supreme power above all others. Now, I repeat to you again, truly open your heart to Jesus Christ, who has borne the burdens of the world and who is calling you. There is still time. I am suffering. I know, but please confess what you did. I know that you put things in place to harm me. When I understood it, I was angry. But now, with lots of prayers, I tell you, I don't blame you anymore. Even though I am far from knowing everything you've done, I forgive you anyway. Now, it's up to you to move forward to the one who created you confess yourself. Doctor, what is going on? Um, I need to talk to your mom. What is going on doctor? How is my daughter? Ma'am, despite all the treatments, the disease is progressing. There's nothing we can do anymore. My daughter, my daughter, what did I do? Mom, mom, I want to confess, call my husband, I want to confess. Confess to you. What do you want to get out all our family secrets? Never. Already with the disaster that happened last time because of you, all the entities present have been overthrown. I too have suffered from this because I am accused of having handed over power to the wrong person. And come to think of it, I should have given it all to your cousin. Mom, it's not about me. 
I did everything as you told me. I experienced these inhuman creatures every day. I lied to my husband about it. It is not my fault. Mom, you lied to me. You did these things for several years without doing anything wrong and it didn't work for me. Why did you lie to me? I did not lie to you. I gave you all the secrets, all the techniques. But you've run into someone stronger, a true child of God. I'm still here because your dad was weak. He did not know God or prayer. So I got it very easily and then he agreed to follow me in this satanic science. He accepted all the conditions and together we wreaked havoc on the family, around us, in the neighborhood, and even at his work. But make no mistake about it my daughter, I have suffered too and continue to suffer excruciatingly every day and every night. It's a heavy burden to carry. And despite the glitter, the makeup and all these artifacts, when I am alone, when these creatures come to see me, it's torture. She charges me every day for what she gives me and what they have given me. When I gave you the creature, the family talisman, it was also to rest because I am tired, tired of carrying these creatures, tired of seeing them. I've been doing this all my life and now I'm old. I want to rest. That's why I gave this to you because you are my daughter and you are young. And the creature also wanted a new body, a young body. But I didn't know I didn't know you were going to fall so soon. Fell? So soon, Mom. But so you knew it was going to end badly sooner or later? Yes, my daughter, it always ends badly and I knew it. But you don't have to tell us our secret, otherwise we are both finished and the whole group are finished. My daughter stays strong. We are going to make one last attempt. Mom, I don't have the strength anymore. But yes, if you want to. Well, I am proud of you well. Call your husband, tell him to come here right away. Tell him you want to confess. And then I know what we are going to do. Okay, mom. Pick up your phone, but the speaker, I'll tell you what to say to him. Okay, mom. Hello Donnie, can you come? Yes, right away. I'll be there in a little bit of 30 minutes. Sir, we're going to be late. We're not going to be in the hospital for at least two hours. There are traffic jams everywhere because of the car accident. I'm going to call my wife back to let her know, but the network is gone. How come about? You're laughing at me. You betrayed both of us. All my sisters have been slaughtered and you still dare to call me to trick me. Too bad for you. Sorry sir. Visiting hours have passed. Come back tomorrow morning. But I am her husband. Sorry sir. Sorry sir. Hello Danny. Hello mom, I want to confess, I want to say everything. I want to be free. So there it is. That is the whole story. I thought I was strong, powerful, with everything my mom said and gave me. But I did not know that God is above everything, that he is all powerful and that there is no power in the world above him. Because you know, we've called upon the most powerful creatures that exist, but they've all been defeated, defeated. I had dreams where I was told to give up, to leave you alone. But I did not listen. I even saw people telling me to leave you alone, to stop what I was doing. But I did not listen. I beg your forgiveness, sorry for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you my daughter for trying to kill my son. Thank you. Thank you. Mother and daughter died. Dot oh precious. What was she looking for? I gave her everything, offered everything to her. She had everything. But she mistook my generosity for weakness. She thought that her talisman worked on me when it was just my generosity. Leaving like that because of greed? Oh, women. I am disappointed. I will not marry it again, it is over. No my son, all women are not the same. God will send a woman for you. Pray to the Lord for that and don't give up. Question the will of God above all and for everything.
brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.